NISBA News is supported by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal. Marching while playing an instrument as the world looks on was an exciting honor afforded to the 129 student members of the Cicero North Syracuse Marching Band. The CNS Marching Band braved the blustery 19 degree conditions to strut their stuff in last year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. For Karen Siemens, the marching band director, this was more than just a dream come true. And when I was in band, we did the um, Tournament of Roses Parade, and that's something that I always remember. Every time I see it on television, I, I think I was there. And I wanted to give my students that same kind of um, experience. The news that they would perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade was greeted by the students with great jubilation. You guys are the only band from New York State. The honor came with expectations of excellence and leadership. It's kind of hard trying to like keep everybody in line and like try to like make sure that like I'm a great leader and like a role model to the band. One of the greatest challenges was practicing the marching band's minute and a half highlight routine on a football field, which was nothing like the street where they would perform it. When the time came and the world was looking on, they were flawless. There are there are two H's that go into the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's hard work and hand warmers. <laughs> That's the second one. It was very cold out there. I believe coldest on record. Despite the cold, students came away with much more than the marching band experience. The kids really got a lot of great experiences when we went to New York, a lot of great educational experiences. They got to visit the 9-11 Museum. Um, they went to the Ellis Island Museum. They got to see the Rockettes perform. They actually did a, a concert in Central Park for just the people walking through Central Park, so we had a big audience for that. The hard work and determination of the Cicero North Syracuse Marching Band showed the world the excellence of public education in New York State. Reporting for NISBA News, I'm Casey Nicholson.